Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you how to record MIDI. So I have a MIDI keyboard plugged in right now. If you don't have one, you can use your computer keyboard, although it is much nicer to have an actual MIDI keyboard for this. So I have that plugged in through USB. I'm gonna open FL Studio. And then to make sure that you have it hooked up, we're gonna to go to Options and then MIDI Settings. And I should see my Ultranova here. That's the name of my keyboard. So that's good. And then under input, you want it selected there as well. And make sure it's turned on. And make sure this enable is also lit up here. Because if it's like that, it's disabled. And that's, that's turned on. Okay, that's good. So now if I test this, you can hear that it's working. And let's say we want to use this piano here. Let's say we want to record this. All right, I'm just going to turn that up a little bit there using this little knob here. That's what this is for. This is channel volume. This is also panning, the one to the left, if you want to use that. So now to record this, we're going to hit this record button. And it's going to ask us where we want our recording to go. We can put it into Edison, or we can put it just into the playlist as an audio clip, which that would be for audio. That's if you're recording actual audio. Like if I was recording the, the microphone right here, I would want to do either this one or the Edison one. We're going to choose notes and automation. That's going to be for recording MIDI. Okay. And so when I hit play here, it's going to automatically start recording. Let's make sure we're at the beginning and I'll just record something here. Okay. We got that recorded. Now, as you can see, these aren't really lined up at all with our grid. If we want to do that, we can just take our select tool here, highlight all these notes like that. You just hold and drag, and we're going to drag them all to the beginning. We'll have it start right on the first beat there. Another thing we can do is quantize these. So if we quick quantize, you can also do control Q on the keyboard you'll see it brings all the start times of these notes to the, it locks them to the grid. And then you can kind of go through, adjust these however you want. Let's play that. <laughs> kind of wonky. Probably want it a little faster. We can just move these where we want them. Oh. If you double click on it, by the way, it'll bring up this menu. You can change the velocity of the note, the panning, release, pitch. Pretty cool. Move it up and down. Oh yeah, and control S, by the way, that's how you bring up the save here. So we can just maybe save this as a MIDI tutorial. This one, this one should be in the center, actually. Now they should all be one after the other. All right, so that's how you record, quantize, and edit MIDI. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.